Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you this massive container of empties. <laughs> I don't know what happened, why I ended up with so many empties for this month, but I did. So if you want to know what is all in here, what I use, what I, I would repurchase or not, then just keep on watching. Okay, first of all, before I start this, um, just a update on the situation um, that's going on in my family. First of all, though, I want to thank everyone for all of the thoughts and prayers and um, just support that you have shown me um, during this time of need. I really do appreciate it very, very much. Um, there is a lot of people that normally don't comment on my channel that um, took the time to let me know that they're pray praying and thinking of me and my father-in-law and my husband. And I really, really do appreciate it. And my husband appreciates it also. I was letting him know what everyone had said. And he thought that was very, very nice of, of you guys, you know, to show that kind of support. Um, just an update on, first of all, the mother-in-law. Um, she did have her, her surgery. We thought once she got out of the hospital that she would go to the nursing home for about three to four days for rehab and then go home. Well, that is not the case. Um, the doctor does not want her to put any kind of weight at all on her ankle. Um, they were not able to fix it the way that he would like to have because of her diabetes. And he was afraid that if he put the plate in there and everything that it would not heal. So he was only able to pin it. So since he wasn't able to do it like he normally would, um, the healing time is going to be a little bit longer than normal. So she went to the doctor today. He, you know, x-rayed it and everything and said, no, I still don't want you to put any kind of weight on it and for you to go back to the nursing home so that you can have 24-hour care to have, make sure that you're not putting any kind of weight on there. Because um, she lives with her, with her um, son. And I, I want to kind of clarify here just for a moment. Um, I do refer to her as my mother-in-law. Um, when actuality, she is my husband's um, stepmother um, from when he was little. Um, she has two children, my husband, those are his half-brother and sister. They, ha they all three have the same dad, just two different moms. Um, my husband's father was married five times, so he's had four stepmothers. And so, but she was his first stepmother and kind of did a little bit of the raising of him. Not a whole lot. Um, his, my husband's grandparents raised him. Um, but since she is the mother of his brother and sister, we refer to her as his stepmom. When actuality, she's, she's no longer a stepmother. But anyway, it's, it's a long story. Anyway, so she lives with her son, not my husband, and um, he's just not capable of taking care of a female, with it, especially with it being his mother. And with all this other situation taking place with father-in-law, um, I'm not going to be able to do as much home care as what we were planning on me doing. So she went back to the nursing home. So, and she's okay with that. Um, she's fine. So, okay. Now to my father-in-law, um, my husband's father. Um, he did get out of the hospital yesterday, which would be on Thursday. Um, he was there from Friday night until Thursday. And the reason why he went in was because he was having a massive headache in the back of his head. And we did find out after CAT scan and MRIs, and x-rays that he has stage four lung cancer that has moved to his brain and prognosis does not look very well, very good. Um, I did take him today to meet his um, radiation, radiation oncologist and we're gonna start Monday with radiation on the brain. They're gonna do a PET scan to see if there's any cancer any place else other than the brain and the lungs. 
the brain there showed six tumors and several smaller masses or lumps or spots i guess that's the correct terminology spots so they're going to focus on the radiation we're going to do radiation for the next three weeks monday through friday and they're going to do a pet scan and more testing on the biopsy that they took of the mass in his lungs to figure out what kind of chemo they're going to do if any on that portion so that's where we're at at this point he is going to be staying with his other son and um, we have got so far we have gotten a lot of um, oh services in place for him that are going to come to the home um, bring him a meal a nurse every day and an aide to help him with bathing and we just we have a lot of things in place um, set into motion pretty quick um, he's going to try the treatment for a while and if he feels like he does not want to go forward with the treatment, then at that point in time, we'll uh, cease treatment and we'll call in hospice and go from there. So anyway, so that's where we're at with the family situation. So anyway, so let's get into um, my trash now. So I have a lot. Like I said, I don't know how I got so much all at once, but I did. So I have a couple of the Dr. Teal's um, bath salts. Um, my husband and I both like using these, and these are the two, one of the two that I recommend, the um, Himalayan, the pink, and the coconut oil. My other favorite one is the avocado oil one, especially for winter when we're also dried up. Oh, and I finished this. This is one of my favorite shower gels. This is from um, Lush, and it's the Rose Jam Shower Gel. Features featured this, I think, in a favorites video, but um, it only comes out during holiday, so you, uh, you won't be able to get it now, but put this on your radar for this upcoming holiday, Christmas, and get you a bottle of that because it smells so good. Um, the makeup remover wipes that I always talk about have one of those. I also did um, finish the Clinique Clarifying Lotion number three. This has been a staple in my skincare regime for at least 15 years, at least. Love it. Have tried other types of toners, but as far as the way I like this one, as just a really of the morning time, make sure that I exfoliate the skin with this. It makes a really good um gentle exfoliant and i am in the number three i use that morning and night this guy right here was one of those um, foot mask that's a, it's called dr pedicure the foot exfoliating mask that you put on your foot or on your feet and you leave it on for an hour and then within three or four days everything's supposed to peel off of your feet you know all the dead skin and all that stuff this did absolutely nothing i do not recommend that i have a poof that um, is completely poofed out <laughs> i'm gonna get these from bath and body works i don't think they carry this kind anymore and i'm really sad about that because i really liked this kind right here because it was just the right amount of um, scratchiness that I like to, for exfoliation of the body. And I think the ones that they sell now and the ones that they have at Walmart are like a really soft, almost like a silky texture to them. And I don't like those. I like the little scrub to it. Um, I have a vitamin. This is the Octoly, um, not Octoly, Ollie, purely probiotic um, little jellies gummies I guess um, take for the tummy and I really like this Ollie brand of vitamins you can find them at Target and um, you can also go on the Ollie website if you know it's one that you like you've tried it you can get on like an auto delivery system and you can get them cheaper that way then I have this guy here I was cleaning out and going through some of my beauty products and I'm getting rid of things that I don't like and this is one of them I do not care for this um, in any way shape or form and I think it may have gone bad 
but it's the macadamia um, deep repair mask no, I don't like it I actually will be featuring one that I really do like in a favorites video coming up pretty soon and but that one's a no-go this is also a product that I went and repurchased. It was okay, but it's from, um, what brand was this? I ordered it off of Peach and Lily. But it's the Skin Renewal Program AHA and BHA Daily Clean Toner. Oh, what brand was this? I don't remember what brand it was, but I didn't really care for it. I like my clarifying lotion from Clinique a lot better, so I won't be repurchasing that. Another product I won't be repurchasing is from Drunk Elephant, and it's the TLC from Bruce Glycolic Night Serum. It was a good product, but I just feel like it's way overpriced for what it is, and I won't be repurchasing that. I have a deodorant. Definitely will repurchase. This is the Degree Clinical Protection. Um, one of my favorite deodorants. Um, some cotton from Ulta. This is the exfoliating cotton pads. I used to talk about these being my favorite and recommended them, but they have changed them and now they are crap. Do not waste your money on these. And if you have purchased these based on my recommendation and they have been falling apart on you, I am so sorry. They changed them. They used to not do that. And Used to, I could do one cotton pad, would do my whole face, and it would be good. But now it takes like two or three because they keep falling apart. I don't, I hate it when companies do that. You know, quit changing things. Don't fix something that's not broke. Um, this little guy is from e.l.f. This is the tone correcting powder. I had used this to um, do my under eye setting, and it was one of these powders that had a green, a yellow, a blue, and a pink. And the only thing I have left here is a little bit of the pink and the blue. I do like this. I do recommend it for um, setting underneath the eyes. It's pretty nice. One of my favorite products, and I definitely will repurchase this, and this is from the Mano Factory. It's the Rose Hip Oil Mist. I like to use this after I've put on all of my makeup and um, use it to help diffuse the powder look after I've used my setting powder and plus I love the smell of it and it's very moisturizing and hydrating. I recommend that. This is from, I ordered this, where did I order this off? Soko Glam I think. Anyway, it's the All Clean Balm. It's a cleansing balm to take off your makeup. It's a solid form. Um, I did like this. And I liked the packaging of it because it had a little scoop and then it had a lid and then your little scoop just kind of set right there on top of the lid until you got ready to use it. It didn't take very much to take all the makeup off. Um, and I was wondering why I was going through this so quickly because I knew I was just using a little bit. Oh, it's from Hamish. I knew there was a brand. H-E-I-M-I-S-H. -I -I anyway, so I was in there one night, you know, I got a little bit in my hand, was getting ready to clean my face, and my husband is like, he goes, you're not getting enough. I'm like, what do you mean I'm not getting enough? He goes, it takes a lot more. He goes, he goes, I use a whole scoop. I'm like, wait a minute. First of all, don't be using my products. Second of all, this is to take makeup off with. You don't wear makeup, so do not be using this. I'm like, you can use this other cleanser, but this is not a cleanser. It's a makeup remover. <laughs> I was not happy. So that's why it went really, really quick. It's like, still on my stuff, dude. Okay, this. This guy right here. This is Pantene. It's the No Crunch Curls Whip. First of all, they no longer sell this product. And it makes me sad because I really like this. Um, apparently, before they quit selling it, they changed the packaging on it. So you can still find it on Amazon in the newer packaging. So if you're looking for it in this packaging right here, you're not going to find it. It's going to be in a white can. Um, but you may not be able to find it. But it's the No Crunch Curls Whip. It's a moisturizer plus styler for curly hair. 
I really, really, really do like this. The only problem is, is I had an issue with my container and I'm gonna insert a video here pretty quick, a little clip of what it did. But half of it just like spewed out after you, you would have seen that on the video. It just kind of, it just kept going and going and going. I couldn't get it to stop. I was like, man. So I wasted quite a bit of it. It's really sad because I didn't think I could get it, but I found it on Amazon. But I don't know how long I'll be able to order on Amazon since that's a product that's no longer being made. Anyway, if you can find it, you have curly hair, I do recommend it. It's very moisturizing. It doesn't make your curls crunchy. It makes them nice and formed and soft. And I'm just really liking it. And I had another bottle, I had another bottle that I, or can that I started using. And by golly, this morning, after I got through using it, it started doing the same thing, spewing out. So it's sitting over there in the sink. So I probably lost, it was almost empty, but still, I mean, I still had probably another week or two weeks left in there and it's gone. Anyway, <sighs> whatever. Oh. Here's a product I didn't like and I won't repurchase. And this is the Moroccan oil um, treatment. It was an oil for your hair. I didn't care for it. So I, I'm glad I just got the little baby size to try it. I didn't like it. I have a little Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner pencil that I finished, a little sample. This is probably one of my favorite eyeliners, but I haven't had to purchase one because I've been able to get, you know, these little point perks or in you know, kits, whatever the case may be, they're good. Um, here's another product that um, went bad before I could use it all up, but it's the um, Ola Henriksen Ultimate Eye Gel Ultimate Lift, and it was sticky. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all, but it was just a little gel product. I tried to use it. It's about halfway gone, but I just didn't like the way that it made under my eyes like sticky and then you try to put your concealer on there or whatever it was you're putting on and just everything just stuck and I didn't like it so would not repurchase that. Finished this powder and this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores um, Airbrush Silk Pressed Finishing Powder. I liked this, but it just kind of really made me look a little bit too dry. So I have really dry skin anyway, and I really need a powder or something that's got a little bit of a luminous finish to it, or something that's just really silky smooth and it doesn't make me look too matte. Now I will tell you this did make you look very poreless. So if you're looking for something to kind of help with the pores, you might give that a try. have a little um, sponge from Real Techniques that I like to put my um, foundations on. And this one has had it, it's starting to come apart. I have a mascara deluxe size sample from Burberry and this is the Burberry Cat Lashes. Is that what this is? I think so. I didn't like this. Oh, I did not like this little brush wand. It's one of those plastic ones that has the really spiky um, bristles on that. I don't like those. So I didn't really care for it, but I did use it for a good, oh, I want to say like two months. So I wouldn't, repur I wouldn't purchase that for sure. And I have a little um, lip liner. This is from Urban Decay. And it was the lip liner in the color Wonderland. So I did finish that. The next product I have is another one from e.l.f. And this is the high definition um, under eye setting powder. This is a really good set under eye setting powder also. Um, I think it's just as good as any high end setting powder for under the eyes that you're going to find. So if you can come across this, it's around, was it $3? Somewhere between three and $6, but it's a good one. Have a setting spray. This is the Catrice Prime Long Lasting Prime and Fine Multi, Multi Talent 
fixing spray. Um, I like these. I don't like the sprayer that it has, so I um, depot these into my Urban Decay um, makeup setting spray. But um, you get this from Ulta, and I do like it. I just wish it wasn't so expensive. I mean, this little thing right here is like $8. So definitely, if you want to try it, wait until they have like a buy one, get one, half, or coupon or something to bring that price down on that. But it is a good setting spray. I have another little deluxe size sample of the Dr. Jart Ceramidin um, Moisture Lotion. This is a very nice moisture lotion. Um, the Ceramidin will um, act as humectant where it kind of locks in moisture into the skin. So it's a really good one to use. Here's another um, toner that I like, not to clarify, but to use as part of the, um, the seven skin method. And this is the Aquel 5.5 um, Licorice pH Balancing Cleansing Toner. It was a little deluxe size sample. And when I get through some of my other toners, I'm going to um, purchase this one because I, I really like that. And then I had from Laneige, Laneige, a deluxe size sample of the um, Essence, the Water Pack Essence. And this was a really good Essence. Um, would definitely think about purchasing a full size of this once I get kind of through some of my other Essences. The next product I have is from Monet and it's the Moxie Magnifying Mousse. It's a style product. It was okay. I definitely would not um, repurchase it cost for one it's way too expensive for what it is um, you can get one from Pantene Suave or any place like that that probably does the same thing so would not repurchase that I think it was in a kit is the only reason why I had it then I have a little um, bath fizzy that I had purchased at like a resale shop not a resale shop like an antique place like one of those little shops that has a lot of different you know crafts and handmade products in it, but it was the black raspberry and vanilla bath fizzy. I wouldn't, <laughs> I'm not going to repurchase any of these ever again because they, um, left a ring around my tub with this pink product in there, the powder, and it didn't rinse off me. So I had a, like a pink ring around my backside. No, not going to do that. I think I have a couple more and I don't even think I'm going to use them. And then I have some products that um, have gotten old that I am getting rid of. Not that. So I didn't actually finish them, but I'm, I'm doing away with them because they're just not any good anymore. And this one was the Vegas Nay um, Lash Glue. Um, I didn't even use it enough to even tell you if it was a good lash glue or not. So I've had it for probably over a year and I tried using it a couple weeks ago and it just didn't have enough adhesive left in it. <laughs> so, and here's another one that's old. It's been a while. So I'm going to let go of this one. It's the Revlon Precision Dark Lash Adhesive. Going to let that go. Uh, Trish McAvoy line refiner. This is, I know this is probably at least eight years old, at least. And it has, it has a funky smell to it, but it was supposed to be something that you would put underneath your eyes to kind of help soften the look of your um, wrinkles. Mm, I don't, it obviously it didn't do it or so I would have kept using it. And then this guy, I guess there was a major recall on this and which is the um, Benefit Gimme Brow. So I don't want to risk using it. I don't know what happened, why there was a recall on it. I don't know if there's some kind of bacteria in it. I don't know. I don't know. I just know there was a recall and it was just a little baby one. So I don't want to risk it. And then I have some lipsticks that have just gone bad. Oh, <laughs> that one was from the Bath and Body Works, Bath and Body Works. Here's one from Cargo. And then this one was from Pure. They're just not any good anymore. So they are 
unfortunately going to go in the trash because I have so many that I can't possibly use anything up before it goes bad. So anyway, so that is it for my trash and update on the family. And um, I hope you liked the little sign here with my little Betty Boop. Betty says hi. She's got her little hand up. She's waving at you.